Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, uh, just as there are cases in which damage is not actionable as a tort, yes. So conversely, there are cases in which behavior is actionable as a tort, <laughs> although it has been the cause of no damage at all, injuria, son, sin, uh, damn, no. Uh -huh. Torts are of two kinds, oh. <laughs> namely those which are actionable per se, yes, and those which are actionable only on proof of actual damage resulting from them. <laughs> now, uh, these torts, yes that you say that you're going to obstruct me from uh, filing lawsuits about? Yes. Each and every employee of each school district right now that happens to be administrative, yes, that has any knowledge of how humiliating it is, mm -hmm, a real assault on the person's reputation, yes, to have them in the wrong grades, oops, I will sue each school district uh -huh, for the total number of administrative personnel that have knowledge of you refusing to enforce the rights of parents and children. <laughs> Hello. Now, I had informed you, yes, that I wasn't in SQUIM. And um, maybe it wasn't yesterday. I think it was maybe the day before that I wanted you to arrest and prosecute whomever it was that it was impersonating me as the father of the five sons. Yes. And then these administrative personnel. Yes that have knowledge that their schools are refusing to enforce child abuse laws? Yeah, child exploitation laws. <laughs> you, as school districts, are going to have the liability of employing employees, yes, that normally they wouldn't have the liability for what you've done as school districts. <laughs> now you have the liability for them, and they have some liability now, what if I was to name in a tort lawsuit each and every administrative personnel, yes, of the school districts of the United States of America, that though they are not teaching credentialed, yes, they are not the professional person, yes, but they are liable for child abuse laws. Now, mandatory reporters, yes, they would not do what's obligated. Poop. Police officers, yes, they would not do what the law requires. There could be an actionable tort because of the behavior of the administrative personnel. Now we're talking billions of dollars. Uh oh. So when you look through each and every school district, yes, both private and public, yes, the employees that are not credentialed, yes, and they are not the professional persons, yes, known as mandatory reporters, yes. See, I keep sending you what the law requires, and you keep saying you don't have to enforce the laws. <laughs> a tort lawsuit that names the non-credentialed, non-mandatory reporters because of their knowledge of what you refuse to do is an actionable tort because of the behavior of the school districts. Now it's a huge lawsuit. <laughs> now, yesterday I sent you an email. Civil rights coordinators? Yes. And instead of obligating the sheriffs and the police departments to give me custody of my sons, ouch, you decided to let them make the decision that they're not going to enforce the laws. Now, I have to have the laws enforced. As much as you dislike the idea, you cannot allow for the wrong right because of the behavior, yes, of those that are going to get sued because their wrong is going to involve those that would not have gotten sued <laughs> because of the actionable tort of the knowledge of the liability. Mm. Now, sheriffs, you want to explain why it is that you do not find this reprehensible, yes, that you are refusing to enforce the laws. It wasn't in SQUIM. The wrong form was used, known as a traffic citation that has precise, yes, limitations of jurisdiction for its use. Mm -hmm. Now we can look at the criminal complaint of Brennan Washington. Poop. Now, uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jail documents. Did you think it was funny how I was uh, naming the folders? See, you arrested me in the public library with the intent of injuring, yes, uh, wounding my self-respect and touching my honor as an actual citizen. 
Now, yesterday I was waiting for dinner. Yes. The, let's see, accepted sign here, Paul. Mm -hmm. It says, yeah, um, well, for some reason, I maybe I can scroll up. No. Oh, look at disability consequences attached to one's action. Yes. Now, um, hmm, I don't know why I can. No, just a minute here. Yeah. It might be easier if I look at it a, a different way. Yes. It's called incompetence. Poot. Let's say you're an employee of the school district. Yes. And you're incompetent. Mm -hmm. You do not have the competence to realize that principals, superintendents, and uh, police chiefs, yes, are incapable of performing their actual sworn oath. Yes. Now, this idea of incapacity, yes, the lack of physical or mental capacities, mm -hmm. lack of ability to have certain legal consequences attached to one's actions. Mm -hmm. Now, you would say you don't have the ability to have me attach legal consequences to your actions, your behavior of refusing to enforce the laws. I would say that there's a large tort lawsuit, yes, for all school districts that thought that their administrative personnel could know of their crimes, yes, and not be personally liable. <laughs> now, for example, a five-year-old, yes, has an incapacity to make a binding contract, yes, disability, disability, oh, and uh, co incompetency. Mm -hmm. Then there's what's known as the testimonial incapacity, the lack of capacity to testify. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, cases, witnesses, 35 CJS witnesses, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Yes. Now, this testimonial incapacity, pooch. I would say that the police officer that issued that precise limited jurisdiction traffic citation had the incapacity to witness against me in a court of law pooch because that individual yes did not understand the limitations of jurisdiction now that would mean that there would be no witnesses against me yes because i wasn't in squim right you did not use the right citation Ooh. and the individual that issued it could not be called upon to witness against me. <laughs> now, you said I was incompetent to stand trial. Well, huge tort lawsuit <clears throat> because of your refusal to understand the lack of capacity. <laughs> now, I just did two quick screen prints. The incapacitated person and incapacitation. Yes. A person who is impaired by an intoxicant, by mental illness or deficiency, <clears throat> or by physical illness or disability to the extent that person decision-making is impossible. <laughs> now, let's say, yes, you're incapacitated. Pooch. You do not have it available to make a decision because your fear of me suing you has incapacitated. There could be some effect of the emails and the videos on the capacity of school districts to make decisions. Yes, it's impossible for you to admit wrongdoing. It is not within your genetic structure to acknowledge the violating of the laws. <laughs> I have incapacitated numerous individuals because of the liability. <laughs>